Hi, Jonathan at Soma Fit again. We're going over Olympic Taekwondo. The next three techniques we're going to learn about are the cover punch, a simple cross, and an uppercut. Now, in Olympic Taekwondo, one is very difficult for one to score with punches. But punches are very good because they displace your opponent's body and you can push them and manipulate them in such a way to set up scoring techniques with kicks. Um, Olympic Taekwondo is predominantly a kicking art and um, points are scored and knockouts are scored with kicks. However, you cannot punch through the face uh, in Olympic Taekwondo to score. Uh, in fact, you, will, you can get a penalty for it. So punches are allowed to the chest above the waist. And again, for the most part, they're there to take your opponent's win from them, push them, and manipulate them in such a way that you can displace their weight and set up other kicking techniques. <coughs> So we'll begin in fighting stance. We're both in fighting stance. My opponent's going to round kick my stomach or attempt to round kick my stomach. I'm going to block down and scoop my hand under his leg. And as I'm doing that, I'm hitting his chest protector or the front of his body with a punch. And as I'm blocking down, I'm not just blocking and holding his leg. I'm scooping up so that, again, as I scoop up, I'm going to get to a point where he, his flexibility can go no further and then he's going backwards and down. And in that same motion, as I'm scooping up and he's falling down, I'm going to send him down with a punch to the chest as well. So I'm going to block down and scoop his leg. As I do that, I'm coming forward with a punch. Now I'm taking my arm and bringing, raising his leg up to a point that he can go no further and then displacing his weight with a punch. Now, mind you, as I have Samir here, I can take him down. Uh, while that's not allowed in Taekwondo, as I lift his leg, he's got to follow wherever I go. Now, moving to a simple cross, the punches in Taekwondo are mostly executed from an inside guard or as we're together. Now let's say we're sparring and I've done some techniques and I'm here in his guard or in his range. Um, for me, uh, being the taller person, Samir has more of an advantage here because his kicks, since he's the shorter of the two, he can execute them a little easier because he doesn't have as much length in his legs. So what I'm going to do while I'm here is I'm going to lock him up and punch his chest to take his wind away to keep him slightly off balance so it's not as easy to execute those kicks. So he might be in his guard. I'm going to scoop his hand down and away and then follow with a cross coming straight across the center right into his abdomen. Again, as I'm here, I'm scooping his hand away. I'm coming back with my hand again, weight distributed, back and forth through the hips into the abdomen. So as I'm in Samir's guard, I'm going to take his hand away, manipulate him to throw him off balance, and come with a simple cross to his chest and abdomen. Now, last but not least, I'm again inside Samir's guard. While I have the cross, which comes straight across, I have an uppercut, which many times is easier to execute and can many times be more powerful. So what I do here is, again, I have him here we're in each other's guard. I'm not leaving this area because, again, Samir can more easily get off a kick than I can, being that I have the longer legs. My reach advantage is taken away from me in this instance. What I'm going to do here is I don't even have to touch his hand. What I'm going to do is go under the hand with an uppercut. Basically, what I'm doing here is I'm staying inside my opponent's guard. Instead of opening my body up, I'm going to go through his with my hips. As I go through his, I'm planting a punch to his abdomen going up and in. And this is what it's going to look like. And then I can, again, push him in such a way or punch him in such a way that I set up a kick. So those punching techniques are, for the most part, again, not scoring techniques, but they're techniques used to displace your opponent to set him up for the more powerful scoring techniques of the feet. Those are punches. Coming up next is sparring. To watch the other segments in this video series or for how-to videos on almost any other topic, visit monkeysee.com.